I'd also recommend staying away from the tiny dark green leafies, blue-green algae, and spirulina. The story starts in Guam, where the Chamorro people were eating perhaps the world's cutest bat, the flying fox. That was a mistake, since it turns out the flying fox's favorite fruit is from this funky-looking tree, whose watery roots concentrate a toxin produced by some rare algae. The result was that the Chamorro started dying of something called amyotropic lateral sclerosis Parkinsonism dementia, basically a combination of Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and Lou Gehrig's disease. And we used to think neurotoxins were limited to rare exotic algae, but now we know otherwise. We now know that almost all blue-green algae can produce neurotoxins, like BMAA. Turns out the only two places one may be likely to find BMAA is in the brains of Alzheimer's patients and at the local natural food store in the form of blue-green algae. So, until we know more, I recommend leaving that particular product out of your cart. And this spirulina, the other pond scum, well, it's good for our blood pressure and our cholesterol, and seems to work wonders against seasonal allergies, but spirulina may dissolve our muscles from the inside out. It's always better when our food doesn't kill us.